Hello everyone, this is Imi from iTrade Ames, Ames Stress Free Trading. If you are new to the channel, I trade the DAX 30, the German 30, every day at the London Open. This is my, uh, I use the day trading strategy that I call the low bot method. Um, but we also have a second strategy which you see on the screen. It's called the setup one strategy. For new and beginning traders, if you are new to trading or new to the channel, uh, if you were to join us, you, we will share with you the setup one strategy. What you see on the chart right now uh, is the TradingView platform. We have indicators for the MetaTrader platform. Uh, the most famous Forex uh, platform is the MetaTrader. We have indicators for that. And we also have indicators for the TradingView platform. Whichever platform you can use, uh, you can have our indicators there. So this is uh, the three indicators that we use. And I like to use... Uh, what I call the M5, M1 split. So when we trade uh, at the London Open, we want the charts to be displayed uh, in this format with M5 and M1, like so. So I'm going to show you on both the templates, on both the systems today, how we traded, what trades we took, and what were the potential setups on both the time frames. So let's go uh, into it. So Okay, so you can see that in TradingView, you have this um, lovely option of when you ha move your cursor on the M5 chart, you'll see the relevant uh, cursor on the M1 chart as well. This is a very useful tool uh, because I look at the candles of the, uh, especially on the low bot strategy. Uh, and if I want to check the AIMS box, let's say, the, the gray shaded area that you see is the AIMS box indicator. It is available. Uh, we used to give it for, we gave it for free to 100 people. Uh, but now if you want to get it, uh, you'll have to be a member of AIMS. And part of the AIMS, you'll get access to this as well. So these double AIMS concept explained in the setup book uh, is very important. So when price goes above the box of M5, and at the same time there's a box on M1, it's, we call it the double AIMS level. Uh, and you would see something around that level. So um, let's start from the... London Open here. So uh, one of the, the little trick about day trading, um, the London session, whether you trade uh, currencies or whether you trade DAX or US 30 uh, or the UK 100, FTSE 100, is to have a horizontal line at the open price of the London. So that's that. I'm going to put a vertical line as well, Alt V. And as you can see, the, the line has been printed here. Let me just, uh, I just moved it. So that's what it is. I can also print um, a cross, uh, cross here with a vertical and horizontal line. The shortcut for that is Alt C. So when I do that, it comes here. You can move it as well. So as you can see, this is where the London open. This is the London candle over here. And for the low bot strategy, uh, this was a setup for me because this was a one candle pullback. But for the setup one strategy, there was no setup over here. So let me uh, show you the, the Lobot strategy template. I only have these two templates here. So as you can see, that's the strategy. Um, I have given an introduction of the Lobot strategy in one of the videos, in, um, but I think it's, it's uh, unlisted now. Uh, but if you want access to the Lobot strategy, it's part of the membership that we have. It is uh, my most current and my most favorite day trading strategy. I can apply it to swing um, charts as well, but um, I, I really like um, uh, using the setup one for my four hours and the daily charts. But anyway, for this video, um, if you look at it, oh, let's click there again. So that's the um, pre-market, pre-open. Uh, there was this candle here, very strong candle. It's very important to look at these. So it's a trend candle. That's what we call the powerful trend candle. Now, why is it a trend candle? You have to compare it to the immediate 5 to 10 candles. If you look at the candles to the left, they are smaller. This candle has covered all of those. It's broken all of the highs, so that means there is power behind it. Then it goes up here, and it reacted to those levels. And it reacts to that level, price goes down. And as it goes down, at the London Open, I have this, this level here. Let me put a, a little, another line on this. So I can then show you, actually not the cross, delete that. I would like to have a horizontal line, Alt H. As you can see over here as well, let me go back to the, um, 
the setup template. You can trade this on the setup template as well, uh, but this would be the uh, low bar strategy. You want price to be out of the box. So you want price to be out of the box, above the purple and above the gator. Ideally, you want this purple to be below the gator and the box. Uh, but at this occasion, you're only playing with the momentum. So at the London Open, price is above the box. So one thing is ticked. You know that price is moving. And then you have this trend candle that takes the price above the box. Then there's a one candle pullback. All you had to do was put a pending order above there. So there'll be two point above this. And if price was to come back below this and go below this red candle, then we were proven wrong. We would exit there. It would be a quick five to ten point loss. Entry went long. It went all the way up. Uh, over here, you could have sold half and then brought stop loss to break even. Uh, in that case, probably you got stopped out, but you can get back in on the next candle and have another 10 pip stop loss or just let it run. So the entry was made here and then we just allowed it to go up. So around here, I exit it uh, with 20. So because 20 is usually my 2R target. So if I go with a 10 stop loss, my target would be 20. If I keep trading like that, even with a 50% win rate, this is a winning strategy. So that's why the 20 stop uh, target point is a very good good way to trade. So here entry, let's say 90, 94. Target point um, would be 24. Mm, hold on, uh, not 24, 14. Over here, let me just put a line there as well. So your entry here, target there, that's it, one trade done. So if you only trade for like, allow yourself first 30 minutes to one hour a day, that's all you need. You don't even need one hour. You need the first 15 to 20 minutes for the low bot strategy, but you need an hour to max two hours on the setup one strategy, and I'll show you why. Because for the setup one strategy, this would not be your trade. This is the low bot trade. So it would go up, price would come down then. This is what we call the PC strategy, the PC pattern. We have a little PDF book about the PC pattern as well, which is part of the uh, membership area. You can download that as well. But um, it, it simply is the zigzag um, pullback, but with using the AIMS box um, indicator, you see this uh, price pattern when there's a stepping up box and price breaks below one of those, then this becomes the PC pattern. And then you have this confirmation candle, which is this one here. PC is one of my favorite entry method where uh, when you have the price breaking below with gator open, it breaks below, but it's a fake out. And a fake out is then rejected with a very strong price action, uh, a confirmation candle, which is this one. So you have this candle breaking all the lows here, but then close all the way up there. I would go long above this, and then I would go long above the box, and then I would trail the candle, and that's exactly what I did. So this was my first trade. We also had a trade here on the 15 second chart, but let's not go into that. Took this trade here, and um, add on here, and we got exited there. So once I took those two trades, it was pretty much over for me. Now I'm gonna uh, switch the template to the low bot method. And I wasn't looking at the chart with that template. I was looking at the chart with this template. But if you're a beginner, you will be looking at the chart on the other template. So let's go to low bot strategy. Uh, you cannot go straight to this patterns because you will not know, you know which pullbacks are the best pullbacks and how to trade them. The setup one strategy will get you ready for that. So over here, price is going up. As you can see here, I'm going to focus on the M1 chart. That's that PC pattern. So if you're not familiar with uh, trading charts, if you, if you don't have like four or five years of experience, both of the charts probably look very, very different to you. Uh, but to an experienced eye, um, I can still see the effect those indicators would have on this and what those indicators will be showing me. Uh, so this is what it is. This this um, is a, a very strong pullback down, which I wouldn't take. I, I normally wouldn't take uh, entries over here, but I did take an entry today just to see if uh, the. So this is the pullback entry that we use in uh, after after we've taken the low bot, which is this one, the London Open breakout trade. We took that. We look for a. Uh, pullback. Now, ideally, this is not the perfect pullback because one, you have like too many green candles, price moving too far up and then pulling back. Uh, but 
you never know it can go it could have gone strongly up so i took a trade knowing that if it if it turned around even a little bit i will get out so my entry was sort of here my price wouldn't be the same because i was trading the mt4 platform and as soon as it went down four or five points i was out quick exit but then i was looking at it and i saw this that market broke this low over here comes down and then prints this confirmation candle bang i was long so my entry went long here and my other entry went long here i'm going to put a cross here to show why i went long on this as i've shown you on the setup one template and that's my training that i already know from that and these two uh, strategies are connected uh, the reason if you look at it uh, on this let me just change that there i'm gonna i'm gonna delete the uh, or actually i'm gonna change the color for this um, cross to purple so you can see which one is it here can you see here on the m5 chart this is a, a doji one candle pullback so on the m5 price has gone above so the 10 has gone above the 20 and price has gone above it with that trend candle as i explained so if you look at it this is the m5 trend candle now it's very strong and big compared to the candles to the left the only thing that you have to contend with is this high over here so you can already see that it's rejected around that high but the trend is up for the day because it's above the london open price you know that line that we draw we draw earlier the london open that first minute open level comes down it was kind of a strong pin bar reversal so that could have been an idea. Some people would have gone short here, people who trade uh, these reversals. But this wasn't really a, a time for reversal because there's only four or five candles. You want price to go all the way up there. And then when you, we see a reversal candle like this, as you can see this one, this is a, a bearish outside candle. This was a good reversal candle. This is also a good reversal candle, pin bar. But over here it was a bit too early. Some people could have tried it. I don't do these reversals. I'm just explaining why so but i understand it so when you see it and you're trading it kind of creates a little bit of um, confusion in your head so i was a little bit confused here but as soon as this candle was then finished this doji i knew that the reversal is not taking an action but if you can if you pay attention to this low here it's bounced against the 10 ema and that's that bounce over here on M1. So I'm seeing it from two perspectives. One, I'm seeing the zigzag ABC, the PC pattern that we see on the setup one. So I've seen so many of the setup one patterns in my life that I can identify this on price as well. And as you can see, so we have the ABC pattern. And at the same time, we have the one candle pullback and the bounce of the 10 EMA over here on the M5. So this high, you see those purple lines? That's where you would start trading the M1 chart again. Once the M5 starts start pulling back, you don't want to take pullbacks on the M1. But it's easy to say uh, because sometimes the M5 would be pulling back. You won't know yet because the candle wouldn't have finished. So you take a trade here, get out quickly, and then on the confirmation went long. And then this was the confirmation as well. And it was a box on the M1. We went long here. So that's one. And then when price is pulling back here, as you can see here, this is the two candle pullback. But now let me just move this purple line to there. And just make it a little bit thicker. Even more. So what I saw here, uh, the reason I did not take this pullback is that one, two, three, four candle very strong. And as you can see this distance between the 10 EMA and price, it was a little bit too much. And I saw what I call a three, four, five pattern. So at that time, this was wave three, four, and five. Let me bring back the, the template so you know what I'm talking about. See this, we have a peak and a pullback and then peak again. That's what we call a three, four. But this was still a wave three going up. Um, so once I have these two peaks, this was kind of a divergence going on. I was a little bit um, skeptical on this. But at the same time, I had two very good trades as well. So I was content. So that's the second one. So if you look at the M5 chart, I'm going to change the template for the M1 to the lowball strategy again. So that's our first pullback. And this is our second pullback. But the pullback had just started. So around here, 
let me just use the the beautiful feature of this lovely platform uh, the bar replay feature so I'm going to go one bar further so if you look at it this is the closed candle but over here the candle wasn't closed let me just apply this to this as well bar principle so as you can see this is the two candle pullback here but 10 EMA is too far from the price so we're not ready yet let's take it one more bar forward it comes down kind of reacts to this level very tempting to go long but still price is too far from 10 EMA and it's stretched even if you look at the uh, let me take this one bar as well so price would have been over here around that time price was stretched on M5 as well so it's stretched on M1 and stretched on M5 you want to give it a little bit more time so from that point of view it was very easy for me to not take this trade and even if you took it uh, and you had this information in the background like I did over here you would know that as soon as it starts to go down you quickly exit don't let it hit your 10 or 15 stop loss you know uh, because this is the situation is different over here then it starts coming down and over here on the M5 you see a two candle pullback and a bullish confirmation now this is our second pullback on the M5 anything above this level I'm going to move this purple to over there it's going to be interesting so now let's go one by one on the M1 chart you can see price start coming up here again but it's not broken so around here around this M1 candle it uh, the, the high available was this which was too far up there but not so that was the only one that we were looking for you wouldn't trade anything on M1 unless price goes above that level but after the end of this candle you could have done something so let's bring price to on the M1 to that level it went far too far down so around this time you're not doing anything this would be a very deep pullback so you won't take this entry because now it's below the 10 and 20 but you want to wait for it price goes up reacts to that level it's actually creating that level so that's the M5 candle now created over here at the end of this and this becomes your cube so anything above there you can now take on the M1 so price goes above pulls back that's your one candle pullback you can go long there uh, so what I did is that I went long here but I had these levels to the left in mind so went long here and quickly exited at those levels if not this would be in a break-even trade because when price goes up and hits those levels you should move your stop loss to break even so let me just finish this now so as you can see today um, at the beginning we had a one pullback here looking at the M5 chart then we have the second pullback and then the third pullback was too deep uh, so nothing happened over here and but when it went up this is a crucial point price did not break the high of this level so around that time I went off the M1 chart I'm not, I was not going to trade here until this broke so I'm going to move this purple cross to there and I said in the chat room that uh, we would not wait for price to go above that level I wasn't looking at anything so when price went up above this level let me click on there over here as you can see on the M1 chart oops as soon as price went above this I started looking for an entry but I got my first entry all the way here which I did not like so I didn't take it but this then was a pretty good uh, pullback and around this time I started making the video if I was actually looking at this let's put another cross here you can see this price is kind of stretched on M5 so from that point of view it's a, uh, a little bit risky uh, but a nice lovely one two three four candle pullback and you would take your entry here stop loss here but I think 
in my case as soon as this candle was printed I would have put my stop loss to break even and this candle would have kicked me out and then it would go up it's one of those so I need to I want to catch the price around these areas at the London Open now this is not the best area to trade because you have levels to the left right but the London Open we can expect volatility and momentum to kick in that's why we traded it otherwise ideally what you want is that you want price to clear those levels on the M5 and then when it pulls back over here let me pull this to this level you can see it's here so once price clears those levels that's when you will start taking those pullbacks probably the high of this or pullback here or this small pullback uh, but the London Open brings volatility we call it the chaos influx point that's where orders kick in and price starts to move and that's why the London Open breakout strategy this one is really good now to finish the video at the end I will say price is not going to move market is not going to move every day like for example last week was horrible uh, every day was spiky it wouldn't start moving and so there's this one trade that I, I would always take which is the low bot so if I take this and price takes off and then pulls back like so and then continues to go my day is good I'm trading very nicely but if it kind of goes like this and then the next few candle it goes back comes down in most cases trading is over then I would what I would do is that I would mark those levels and I would want price to if in the next 10 15 minutes it finds momentum and it goes up then something like that would uh, then I would pursue it otherwise best thing is to just leave the, the chart and don't trade spiky sideways market another thing that I would add towards the end is there are news so for example the other day there were German PMI news so it's an important red news for the German market and this is German market and that was at 830 so around those times you have to be cautious what happens at the London Open and in most cases market uh, let me actually just go there um, let's use the go to feature if it's available over here yes uh, I think it was uh, yesterday so we'll go to yesterday open it's not gonna take us right there but let's see okay um, yes it was yesterday so you can see here this is the London open but the German PMI is in half an hour time and that's here let me just put that cross here again so the market was kind of I call it the gyration period so yesterday was gyration Wednesday um, you can see at the London open price is already up it starts to go down I have no signal no entry and then it goes on the other side very confusing um, paid a few rents here I think and then when the PMI happens what you can see is a pri that price has already created uh, momentum up and pulled back down so you have one two three four five candle pullback and I took it on the news I had two entries one was here and the other one slipped over there so I quickly exited that because I don't want slippage like that so I quickly exited that one and then I kept this entry it went all the way up there uh, and I remember not taking profits all the way there normally when it goes very strong up I would take profit but it came down and I took profit somewhere here then after that uh, we didn't get a nice pullback then it was this pullback paid a small rent and then it went up and that's how it is so it's like three or four trades a day but the, the this is a, a bit of that crucial bit that if you have a mm, a very important news call going on in the next 15 20 minutes then probably wait for that because the London open orders probably will be delayed until that important news and so that's exactly what happened after this so price did not move before the news but after news it started going up and as you can see it trended all the way up so the video was supposed to be just uh, five to ten minutes uh, but that's uh, what it is that's the recap for today and yesterday and how we trade the low bot strategy if you are not a member yet please join us uh, we have offers going on if you go to itradeams.net uh, you will get a pop-up to get a 50% discount I don't know how long that's going to be on but it is definitely on for the next few days 
So that's what it is. The new strategy, the low bot strategy is out. It is very powerful, very simple, and anyone can trade it. And if you join us, you can probably just spend the next few weeks on learning setup one, and then you can jump straight into the low bot strategy. In the next video, in the next few days, I'm going to release the hunt 2.0 indicators which we can use with the low bot strategy. So the hunt strategy is one of my favorite strategies that we uh, created after the our second strategy. So we have the setup one, then we have the fruit strategy, then we have the hunt strategy. Now we have the hunt 2.0. It's H2O. We're going to call it water or water. <laughs> so um, if you want those indicators, join us today. See you later. And if you like this video and this channel, please stay subscribed. Hit that red button, subscribe and the bell icon. So if there's a new video, you'll get a notification. Thank you for spending this time with me. I don't know how many of you would have stayed till this point, but if you have, I love you.